Okay. Again, I'm going to kind of set up the problems, but you're going to notice something a little bit different here. Highest power is a third power, and that's the highest power you ever get when you have to solve an equation in Algebra 1. Okay, So there's going to be three answers. And again, I have x to the third, and I have x, so we want to make sure we got zero. We have it. There's the big guys. There's two terms. So GCF. And then we're going to look to see if we have a difference of perfect squares. Okay. Three terms. Okay, the setup is almost just as important as solving the problem. Yeah, x to the third, but you also got x to the first. So we check your zero. Okay, so I have my GCF. Actually, you should put equals zero there. Okay, and then I want again. There's two terms, so I check to see if I have a difference of perfect squares. Okay, next one, three answers. This time you get x a third, you get x a second, and you got x. So we definitely need a zero there. And you put underline the big guys. So again, GCF. And then of course we'll be looking at my T chart, seeing if I can figure that out. Okay, three terms. Three answers, sorry, three answers. There are three terms too, but three answers. Okay, I've got x third, I've got x second, and I've got x, so we have our zero. And we need to pull this apart by factoring, but there are three terms, so GCF. And my trinomial t-chart. Okay.